Hello guys, um, today I'm going to be reviewing my custom Allosaurus. So basically, um, I did post it that I'll be uh, making it, I'll be posting a custom Allosaurus, but I wasn't sure when. So basically, a lot of people just commented on that post on YouTube. If you just go to like the community, you'll probably just see that post. And you can see that some people would uh, want me, that some people would want me to uh, post this. So basically... Let's get started on how this uh, custom go. So basically, what I did with the base figure is that um, I used the um, primal, no, not primal attack, um, uh, extreme damage line from Dominion. So basically, I've been looking for this figure for a while at Walmart, and they didn't have them. But then, like a few weeks, uh, no, a few, and then like a month later, I visit Walmart again, and they actually had it on a shelf. So basically, though, no, I got excited, took it home, and now it's all custom. So basically, so basically, uh, oh shit, let me just tell you like how I did a custom. So basically, what I did is I just um got my uh flathead screwdriver. So I just like um cut it, not like cut it, like pry it open, and I managed to did they did that, but it was just kind of like difficult because I didn't want to break anything. So I just got like old like the um, uh, features like it used to have like a button right here where it just like opens the mouth. Well, the mouth cannot open anymore. It's like articulated, so it just open, open and close. And then um, you just have the like feature where you just like press this, and it goes down and shows like the um, rib cage and the like squishy um, uh, I don't know like stomach. I don't know. So I just took that out. It's all super glued, so it's like you can't uh, do it anymore. And then I cut the head off of the neck, and then I just, like, put in the, um, uh, ball joint in there. Like, so it could just, like, go, uh, a 360 or, like, a, like, a circle. And I can just go. I'll demonstrate the articulation later. And basically, I also put in the articulation on the elbows and then the wrist. Well, it just kind of looks weird with the wrist because I never, like, put, like, skull dude putty or a part of, like, paint on it. So basically, I was, it was like one of those like, um, last minute thing, like I just want to get this done, like get this custom done and that'll be it. So yeah, and then basically I also cut, cut the legs and the feet off of the figure, and then I just put in like ball joints. I used these um, uh, third hand uh, ball joints, like it's like for soldering. Sorry if I'm going like, uh, uh, this is, I'm pretty sure you're going to comment, why are you going, uh, uh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure people are going to comment that or not. I don't know. Let's just see. Anyways, and after that, I g uh, got epoxy sculpt and green stuff. So I used the green stuff around the elbows, and I used the epoxy sculpt around the figure. So basically, from the button right here, the neck, and the legs and feet are all sculpted. And after that, I um, painted this um, skin tonish color. It was like a, I just mixed like like a skin tone brown uh, and like a darker brown, so that way it could just be like dark, uh, like a dark skin brown. Yeah, it was just kind of like hard because I did search out like PNGs of it, but that didn't really like uh, really show like the results. I mean, it did show me like the colors and how it looks, but it was just kind of like difficult for me to like put on a figure. And then, and then after I've done painting the skin tone, I also put in the black. Uh, the black uh, base coat around it and now I put like a little bit of dry brushing on the white It's kind of like hard to pick up on camera Like you can kind of see the white like probably like right here Like it's just like I think it's just my lighting. It just doesn't work, right? So yeah, and then after painting it, I didn't pick the eyes. Those are like the same original eyes from the from the original uh, figure and then I also painted the tongue because for some reason it was like a black tongue. So I just like painted like a red. And after I got everything done, I got like a peach or like a very light pink as like flesh. So it's just like the oldie scars. It was just from like the original sculpt in the figure. Like I just like put that and after that. I used uh, the Citadel um, God, uh, God blood from the gods or whatever it's called. Uh, this is the paint I use. Dang it, I dropped it. This is the paint that I use. So, yeah. So, yeah. 
Now, let me demonstrate the articulation. So basically, the head, it can go, it could go up. It doesn't, it can't go up that much. So that's kind of like disappointing. It can go down that much. It can go horizontally. It can just go left and right. And I did demonstrate this earlier. The mouth can go open and close. You can also open them individually. And basically, the arms, they can go out this far. It's from the original figure. It can go down far. Then the knees, I mean, not knees, the elbows they have, it can go up, down, like a really good range. Even though I customize it, it's good. And it, it can, like, swivel, like, from here. Or from here. Yeah, that's all. Same for, and the rest can go up, down, and it can just, like, circle with, with the arm. It's just kind of, I just kind of, like, glued it, I think. And basically, the legs, legs can go um out that far and back this far. It can just go like a 360 if it wanted to. And it did. And basically, the elbows, I mean the knees, they can go this far in and this far back. Kind of like, I, need, I probably would fix this, I don't know. Depending if people like it or not. So yeah. And then the feet can go up, I mean go down, and then go this far up. Same with the other leg. And this one from the original figure, it can it has like a ball joint on the on the tail. So yeah. Oh yeah, I did uh, forgot to mention I it also had a scars on the tail. So yeah. Now we're gonna get to some size comparison. Let me just get that up. Now let's just get to the size comparison. All right. So the size comparison I'll be comparing this uh, figure to is the new the uh, Hammond Collection Robert Muldoon. So you can probably get the scale of this figure. Yeah, a lot of people didn't like the original Allosaurus. Not the one from Fallen Kingdom. I'm talking about like the standard ones that you see from Camp Cretaceous line. Like, I can kind of agree because there's it's just kind of like a small dinosaur compared to like the Battle of the Big Rock figure. So yeah. Now, now the other I'll bring in another Hammond Clutcher figure is the Hammond Clutcher and Concavenator. A Concavenator because you can kind of see that this is actually a really big figure. And then. And then here comes, um, uh, let me just, um, move this figure. Okay, that kind of hit it by accident. Here's the, um, hand clutching patchy cephalosaurus. Yeah, pretty small dinosaur compared to the allosaurus. And my last one is the, um, hand clutching, um, velociraptor from Jurassic, Jurassic Park 3. Let me just, uh, move him. Okay. You know, I'm just gonna take him out of the, uh, Frame and just move patchy. Okay, he didn't want to stay. Now here comes the hammock collection um rafter from Jurassic Park City, like I said. And really a lot of people really don't like that figure. I'll probably gonna make a tutorial on how to upgrade your um hammock collection velociraptor. I'm pretty sure people are gonna go like, how are you gonna teach us a tutorial on how to make it look better if there's a Marco Makes video how he makes a good head sculpt and feet you know so yeah and then now let's get up to another size comparison all right so the last uh, size comparison i'll be uh, showing is that let me just move the allosaurus compared to the hammock collection um t-rex or rexy so yeah you can kind of get like the more in scale because rexy is uh much of a bigger t-rex oh yeah, it's also customized too so yeah so yeah, that's basically the size of the Hammond Collection T-Rex. Dang, it doesn't want to go in. It's not even in frame yet. So yeah. So yeah, that's basically it for my showcase of my custom um, Allosaurus from either Battle of the Big Rock or just uh, Jurassic World Dominion. Whatever you want, which one you prefer. So yeah, this is basically uh, the whole entire review. So yeah, I'll be posting more very soon. So stay tuned for that. If you like the fi uh, video, I almost said figure. If you like the video, um, just leave a like. All right. If you want to see more of my content, um, I'll leave a subscribe button. Just leave a subscribe button. Leave the notification, so that way you can see more of my daily posts of custom dinosaurs. Well, basically, this channel is not going to be just dinosaurs. It's just um, just showing all my custom um, Jurassic World slash uh, park figures. Until I'm going to show like non uh, Jurassic Park and um, world figures, you know. So, yeah, that's basically it. Um, 
uh, thanks for tuning in with me. So, yeah, that's basically it. You guys have a good day. I'll see you later. Bye.